hello everyone welcome back to my channel y'all know the drill first things first like comment share subscribe make sure you click the little notification bell so you never ever 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 miss a video as you can see today we are doing a hair tutorial we are doing box braids so first things first wash your hair do i need to say why you about to put your hair in a protective style it needs to be clean second of all i take um my yellow bird blow dryer with the comb attachment and I blow dry my hair with the comb attachment to stretch it because I have naturally curly hair. See the inserted photo right about here. Exactly. I prefer stretched hair when I blow dry. I mean when I braid my hair. So then I take my medicated sulfur 8. I oil my scalp with this. It gives it a very cooling, mentholated, just blissful sensation. And it also um, is an anti-dandruff. I don't have dandruff, but I like that this prevents dry scalp and flakes, especially when I am in a protective style. So after I oil my scalp, I take a boar's hair brush and just kind of brush everything through, stimulating my follicles. And then I divide my hair into four sections. Now, if I'm doing jumbo box braids, I will just part as I go across, across, across. But because I went down a couple sizes, just because I wanted a little bit smaller braid this time, I did divide it into four sections just to make it easier to get the braids accomplished. Now, let's talk supplies. What are you going to need? Brush. This comes in handy for a couple things. A, for detangling your hair, and for B, detangling that braid hair. Next, you're going to need some um, butterfly clips. Sorry, I just dropped the clip. I was going to show y'all. Butterfly clips for sectioning your hair. I do keep a duckbill clip so that when I section out the row that I'm working on and I take out that braid, if I have any hair left, I can clip it out of the way with this. And it's a lot less clunky than this combs let's talk combs i use this for detangling like if i come across a little knot in my hair i use this metal tipped comb for parting it makes it so much easier to get a clean clean line as far as products i am very minimalist when i'm braiding this is what i use that's it I usually use the magic fingers, but because I had to go to the beauty supply store up here instead of the one where I used to live at, we had to take what they had. As far as hair, let's talk hair. So I use the Free Trust three times year one. It's three in a pack. Um, natural texture braid hair. This is like my go-to braid hair. I really don't put much thought into it after this. I did decide to do a color this time, so I did pick up the T27. It is kind of a mix at the top, and then it fades down into this beautiful number 27 shade. I picked up four packs of this. I probably won't get to the fourth pack because I'm still on, like, the first two at this point. And breaking down your braid hair is important so that you can see your pieces easily. So if you don't have one of these, get one. It is a braid prep rack. It is actually a spool holding rack that people who like have like sewing rooms and stuff, you've probably seen one of these. But I like it because it gives me 60 pieces of hair prepped and ready to go to do my braids. And that makes my life a lot easier because I can break down two or three packs of hair. And then once I start, I don't have to stop until I get done. So... I am going to finish the back of my hair and then I'm going to come back and we are going to show you exactly how I install my braids. So I'll see you shortly. Okay guys, so I'm going to keep this really simple. As you can see, I have sectioned my hair and I used the duckbill clip to remove the other section out of the way. I'm just going to take a little bit of jam and put it on the section that I am about to braid. I'm just cleaning up my part with that little metal tip right tail comb. I know it's a coloring comb, but it works great for making sure that your parts are nice and crispy and clean. And then I'm just going to comb the product through, make sure everything's nice and separated. And I'm going to take my braid hair. I'm going to separate about a third of the section of hair. After I detangle it, because you know, life is much easier when everything is not tangled. 
So you'll see I take that little third. And I am just going to loop it over the other piece. So that I now have three braid strands in my fingers. I'm going to split the section of my hair into two. And then match them up with two of the strands in my fingers. And just begin to braid my hair. I'm also going to show you this from a second angle, like over the top, so that you can kind of see because, well, I didn't realize my arms were seriously like in the way as I was making this video. I am not a professional braider by any means. I just wanted to show you guys how I accomplished the style. And I also use the jam to seamlessly blend my hair between the braid hair. Once it's blown out, the texture is pretty much the same. But this also helps me avoid any flyaway pieces. And that's what I love about this natural texture hair. It just like blends right into my blown out hair texture. And I'll just keep braiding all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, applying any extra jam as needed. And making sure that my hair is actually positioned towards the back of the section that I'm working on. That just helps with tucking the hair and avoiding flyaways as I'm braiding. And we're just going to braid this all the way down to the end. And then I will show you the second angle, but I'm not going to talk during that part. So I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.
Okay, y'all, so this is just the finished product of my box braids. Um, as in the video I described, I put them, as I did like each little section, I did braid them into larger braids. So that once I dip them in hot water, they um, would be wavy. So after I dip them in hot water, I towel dry them as much as possible and then I let them cool down before I um, separate them. And once I separate the braids, this is what we come up with. I do take a little bit of um, just mousse to smooth everything out. And then I just took some shears and kind of trimmed off the excess long ends. And as you can see, it did start out like a mix. And it went all the way down to this. I usually don't do blonde, but I figured I'd do something a little different. So this was really fun. So I will see you guys on the next video. Of course, if you have any questions, any comments, just drop them below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.